in the emphasis that Caroline's making on North American meaning, uh, this is not just WWE. Yeah. I'm talking, you know, it's not just the power conferences. It's everywhere. You got to examine the majors like TNA. You got to examine. You got to yeah. You got to examine yeah. the body Absolutely. of work of how what they've accomplished recently. I'm not talking about what they've accomplished in the whole career because, like March Madness, they focus on one season. Okay. So we're talking about recently in this okay. season of wrestling. Okay. First and foremost, I think it's a no-brainer. Brock Lesnar would be my first number one seed. I mean, this guy, uh, one of the most dominant, even though he's only had three matches in his title run. Uh, one of the most dominant title runs. Obviously, he, there's no th nothing else like Brock Lesnar. And when you're the champion of WWE, which is the machine, which is the top company, you can't swipe him. My second number one seed okay. would be Kevin Owens. Now, again, I've said, I've said this many times. <laughs> NXT is not developmental down there. It has become an alternative brand over there. And the way that he came in with the fanfare that he came in, how quickly he got right to the top and in an impressive fashion, his merchandise is over like Rover. It's selling as if he was on Monday Night Raw in the mainstream. So all these things I'm taking into the criteria. Kevin Owens, a number one seed. All right, my first top two seeds. Okay. Brock Lesnar is number one. I got to do a little bit better than that next time. Brock. But the Beast Incarnate, a guy who doesn't need to be on TV each week, but you still crave to see him. You is, he, can, is he Kentucky? He's absolutely Kentucky. <laughs> Guys, just steaming through competition. And the fact that Brock Lesnar is better than ever now at, at an extended age, going through some health issues previously uh, upon his return to WWE, Brock Lesnar is the main attraction in all of professional wrestling. There's a reason why the guy is not on every single Raw. There's a reason why the guy doesn't appear on SmackDown. He sells money. He is the best. With a fantastic coach in Paul Heyman. And exactly. Paul Heyman is a John Calipari. Number two. <laughs> Controversial. Number two. Mr. Money in the Bank, Seth Rollins. This guy right now wow. is hotter than a chicken wow. fried biscuit in the summer in New Orleans. I don't wow. even know, but I'm telling you right now, Seth Rollins, he gets Jon Stewart on the Daily Show to come to WWE Raw. He gets a big match against Randy Orton at WrestleMania. And if you don't want to say it's a big match, look at Raw the past month. Who's it been around? It's been around Rollins and it's been around Randy Orton. Seth Rollins is number two, and he might be the most complete guy in professional wrestling in the ring, out of the ring, on the mic, there is no weakness in Seth Rollins' game. He is the number two, number one seed. I would have put him at like a number two seed, maybe. No, he's a number one seed, Justin. How? I mean, I'll give you, I'll, I'll, I'll give you, arg right I'll give you your argument with having John Stewart. I mean, that's a great recent body of work. I, that, that, that recent was body of work. That's a, that's Seth Rollins has been the man for the past ten months. Okay, well, my uh, my other two top one seeds would be Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan, okay. And, and this is not necessarily in all my order of ones here. I'm going Daniel Bryan. Daniel okay. Bryan snuck in there with me. I think he, it just, it's just too hard to turn away from him. A guy who uh, can make anything out of anything. Okay. He's just, just so over. I, he, can't, he, he slips in there as, my, as a number one. And the other number one seed, again, I'm going North America. I'm going, with, uh, I'm going with popularity, with buzz, with fighting everybody else that's not in WWE. Alberto El Patron. Now, to me, I look <laughs> wait, at wait, this. Wait, wait, wait. Alberto El Patron Del Rio. Yes. I look at this guy is making, this guy is making splashes. He's showing up everywhere. He's showing up everywhere else. Ring of Honor, House of Hardcore, Lucha Underground, AAA, uh, and don't devalue how how, really how big AAA is. No, this is this is where you have to look and open your eyes outside of WWE for what he is commanding. Uh, not only from the business, from booking, from what he's making, from how well his matches are, for the fact that he is independent, away from the machine, and he is growing and, and he is bigger than ever. He, you can argue right now he is a bigger star than he ever was in WWE. Get out. You can get argue. Out. He get is out. a bigger star now hey, than he ever was out. in WWE. I, I respect you at times. Get out. That is the most ludicrous thing that I have ever heard you say. That uh, Alberto that Del Rio is one of the top four professional wrestlers in the world. Del Rio. He was. All right, here we go. For my, my other two top seeds, I'm going to go very simple. Bray Wyatt. Is there anybody that's a better overall character in professional wrestling? No. And whenever you face a guy like John Cena at your first WrestleMania and The Undertaker at your second WrestleMania, and you are carrying an entire Undertaker feud better than most people have in 22 years, you deserve that number one seed. And number four, I'm not going to go in the WWE main roster, but I'm not going to go in the NIT Alberto El Patron. He is not NIT. Right. He absolutely Smack is. Smack yourself. He couldn't make it in the big leagues. He Smack sucked. yourself. They threw him out the window, and he's trying to hold on for dear life. They didn't throw him out the window. Mike. He got... He got, he got he, he, oh, okay. You know what? I, I don't even want to hear about this nonsense. Or you have always bashed Del Rio. No, I have not. No, I have not. You want to get a little bit higher there, Susie? That is anyway, unbelievable. My number four, number one seed is the guy that's going to be incredible for years to come. He's young. He's like the Gonzaga. He's always going to get better and better and better to the point where you're at number one seed, Finn Balor. 
Finn Balor is absolute money. Everything he does. That's and like the fact that he's the most captivating guy when you see him on NXT, whether it's the body paint once every few months or whether it's him being a guy that in his 30s has done so much and he finally made it up to the big roster. Bank it on Balor, That's baby. like picking a number one C because you like their uniform. That's ridiculous. That is not. That's unbelievable. Uh, okay. he's, he's, Entrance, uniform. He doesn't have a uniform. He has paint. No. Finn Balor is a million times better than a guy Alberto Al Patron. Wait, Del but Rio. you all put Kevin Owens on there, but Kevin Owens is the damn champion. It doesn't huh? matter oh. who's the champion. CSR! 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 Getting, 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 you're getting, 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 you're.